Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a Ferrari 488 Pista, and today I'm going to review it for you guys. Well, I did it. I'm in the big leagues now. Do you guys have any idea what I had to do to get this Ferrari? Mentos, the fresh maker. That was a reference to a 90s Mentos commercial. The jokes on this channel are getting more niche by the day. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Bennett Maserati of Allentown for allowing me to review this Ferrari for all your luxury car needs. You can visit MaseratiofAllentown.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So let's start out up front on this Ferrari. You're going to get your Ferrari emblem and this racing stripe on this Pista. Now the Pista is actually the performance track variant of this Ferrari 48. I didn't know that there was performance versions as opposed to other ones, but that shows how uneducated I am on Ferraris. Like I said, I'm out of my wheelhouse. Two months ago, I was reviewing pickup trucks. <laughs> Regardless, moving on here, there's this giant hole that goes through the bottom here lip, and it pops up here. They could have just put a hood scoop on it, but they were like, no, no, giant hole through it. Trust me, it's better for aerodynamics. I don't know in what way, but the engineers do. That's why they get paid way more than I do. Now opening the front hood in here, you don't actually have an engine in here because it's a mid-engine car. Rather, you have a frunk. So you have this storage space in here. I think one of the coolest and most unique features in here is that there's actually a personalization specifications plaque built into here with all the unique specifications that this Ferrari 48 Pista was built to. Moving on to the profile of the 48 Pista, you get these absolutely massive 24-inch wheels on here with these yellow Brembo brakes. An interesting touch on the profile of this 488 Pista is actually this turn signal indicator right here. Admittedly, it does look like an afterthought. I believe because of US regulations, you have to have a turn signal indicator on the profile of the vehicle. So it looks like when Ferrari brought it over to the US here, they kind of just plooped it on right here. Another cool thing I wanted to mention on the profile of the 48 were these side scalloped air intakes. Now in doing my research on the 48, I actually found out that these are a reference to the Ferrari 308 GTB arguably made most famous by Magnum PI, so they kind of paid homage to this on the 48 when they were designing it. Moving to the back of the 48 Pista, you have so much carbon fiber back here. Now there's carbon fiber on the profile too, and wait till we get to the interior. There's so much carbon fiber. You know you have a luxury car when it's covered in carbon fiber. I guess you also know you have a luxury car when it's a Ferrari. Regardless, moving on, you have parking sensors back here and you have a center mounted fog light back here as well as your backup camera, which is very cleverly implemented in there below the lights. And then, of course, you have your exhaust. Give us a minute, we'll give you an exhaust note. Of course, we couldn't do a Ferrari review without an exhaust note. What am I, crazy? You have your Ferrari badge up here and then the circular tail lights. Then we'll get to the engine. Underneath the rear engine hood, this Ferrari 488 Pista is powered by a 3.9 liter twin turbo V8, making 711 horsepower and 567 pound feet of torque. That's up 50 horsepower from the regular 48. The engine paired with this seven speed automatic transmission gives this a zero to 60 time in 2.7 seconds. This is definitely the fastest and most expensive car I've ever reviewed. Moving to the interior of the 48 Pista, the first thing you'll notice is its lack of amenities in here. Now, while it is very nicely appointed with the materials and the textures that it has, I mean, you're getting manual sliding seats in here and the floors aren't carpeted. That's actually very purposeful. Basically, since this is a track car, Ferrari wants to save weight wherever possible, so they've taken out some of the luxurious amenities to help this car achieve that 2.7 second zero to 60 time and to make it a very fast, uh, and very high performance track car. Starting down at the shifter in this car, this is definitely the most unique shifter I will have ever dealt with in my entire 
career reviewing cars, I guarantee it. Anything past this is not gonna be as unique as this. You're gonna have your buttons for your reverse, your auto for the automatic, and then you have paddle shifters right here, all in this kind of very interesting carbon fiber like grab handle down here. This is strange, it's very strange. Moving below that, you do have a standard hazard button and then you do have your window controls down here with this little kind of leather padded material. I think it's kind of interesting. It's almost like a mouse pad right here that they've, that they've padded on here. Moving on to the steering wheel itself, this is where the car really, really shines. So first off, you have your turn signal indicators on here, your headlights and your windshield wiper buttons because you actually have your paddle shifters back here, your engine start stop button on here and your suspension lift. It'll actually raise and lower the suspension as well as your race, sport, wet, and track buttons right here. It actually has a red line indicator on the top of the steering wheel right here. So basically what it does is it gives you little light indicators when you need to upshift, and that basically helps you for the best possible shift in this car. That is something that I have never seen on a car that I reviewed, so this is all new territory for me. Another cool and unique touch on this 48 is this is actually your horn. It's on both sides of the steering wheel right there. Another very interesting thing right here you'll notice is there's no infotainment system. On a $330,000 car, no radio right here. Actually, it has buttons for a radio, but that's all implemented into the right and the left screen on the gauge cluster. It's all implemented into that, again, as a weight saving measure. Very unique, I think that that's really cool. And below that, you're actually gonna have your climate controls. These climate controls are probably the most standard thing on the interior of this car, It's just kind of funny. On the opposite side over here, you'll have your buttons to control your left screen in there. Basically what you can do is you can control your turbo, your different modes in here. You can go between what you wanna see. This is basically your um, mode screen and this is your entertainment screen on the right. So that's where you're gonna get your Sirius XM, your AM, your FM radio, your Bluetooth, stuff like that. And then in the center, you're gonna have your speedometer with what drive mode you're in. Moving up to the roof of the car, I never talk about headliners, but this headliner is trimmed in leather with red stitching. That's incredible. That's attention to detail that other manufacturers never put in their cars. That's crazy. Up here then you're gonna have your lock unlock buttons. Uh, interesting, you actually have an engine start stop button on here, so when you press this, you come to a red light, it'll shut the engine off automatically. I mean, Jeep Wranglers have that feature, but it's really cool that the Ferrari 48 Pista also has that feature available as well. This, this super performance track car is like, well, we better save fuel economy where we can. Another cool added detail on the interior here, not many cars have this. It actually has a spot for your key, so you can place it right there. That is pretty neat. Now moving on to the passenger side, you actually don't get a glove box in this car. Instead, you get a leather trim piece with red stitching in it, so that's nice. You get a 48 piece to badge as well. You do get a, a small net storage thing in the back here, but uh, Again, I don't think you're buying a Ferrari 48 Pista for its storage capacity. Much to the disappointment of many people, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to drive this Ferrari, though I'm actually personally relieved because this is $330,000 and I'm going to be a youth pastor. I'm not making that kind of money in my lifetime, okay? So I'm okay with not being able to drive it, unfortunately but I just wanted to throw this segment in. I'm thankful that I was even able to go over these features with you guys, and I'm hoping that in the future, I'll be able to drive other Ferraris eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you could leave it a like, that would really, really help my channel. Subscribing would also really help my channel. If you're new here, I am a Christian, and I felt like the best way I could connect with people was answering your prayer requests in the comment section. So if you have a prayer request, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And I just started doing scripture verses for each video, and I thought it no better way to, than do this verse, Matthew 7, 7, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, and knock and the door will be open to you. I think that's a perfect summation of being able to review this. That is, I mean, it's incredibly humbling. I never thought I was gonna be able to get this high up uh, when I started. I mean, I'm see, I'm at a loss for words completely. Um, little over a year ago, I reviewed my pickup truck because I liked it and I thought it was cool. And uh, now God's blessed me with this YouTube channel. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I didn't, I'm here reviewing a Ferrari. This is bonkers. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for hopefully more Ferraris, maybe a Lamborghini, I don't know. Now the possibilities are endless. Whew! Thank you, God. Thank you, everybody, for watching.
Take care, guys. Okay, make sure my mic is going all good and stuff. Please. Is it all good and stuff? All right, uh, let's wait for this truck to go by. And... Uh, uh. Okay, go. Look, when you do the smile, continue to hold, like, look back, like, look, like, <laughs> like, gotcha. freeze frame almost on it. Yeah. All right, ready? Go. Perfect. Bet.